Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebie of the Week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we're going to practice a specific question type. Now these videos, they're short, they're sweet, they're to the point. But if you are looking for more in-depth videos, I'll point you in the right direction as to how to access those videos at the end of this episode. All right, so our focus, our question type that we're going to be working on this week is, drum roll. It's a two-parter. That's right, two-parter. It's going to be a graphic response item display and an editing task. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach you. All right, fifth grade, here is your problem this week. We have a two-parter. It says part A right here and part B right here. Now, before I model my thinking and show my journey here, what I'd like for you to do is go ahead and pause the video and work this problem out on your own. Then press play to come on back and check your work. All right, welcome back. So this is the journey I am choosing to take. So it says to drag the term Yes, these are the terms right over here, to correctly label each value of the equation below. Okay, so dragging. Now this right here is kind of like a paper-based copy, but when we take the Florida Fast Math Assessment, it's a computer-based test for most of us. So dragging something would mean clicking on it and pulling it where we need it to go. So what we need to do is take one of these terms and plug them into these spaces right here. Now, I don't think that the fast math assessment would necessarily have you dragging terms over, but this was just a way to show you how the dragging, the graphic response item display, how dragging would work on a test, okay? And we'll have other problems that practice that in the future. So for this one, we've got 1,524 divided by 25 equals something. So 1,524, that is the total in the division problem. The total is known as the what? The dividend. So what we would have to do on a computer is select dividend, click it, and move it over where we need it to go. So we'd want it to go in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just write this over here. This is the dividend but usually you would take it and drag it and drop it right where you need it to go. 25 is the thing that we're dividing. It's the piece of the equation that's doing the dividing. So what is that called? The divisor, right? So on a paper-based test, we would select divisor right there and drag it into that space that we see. I can't really drag it, so I'm just going to write it right there. And the unknown, the unknown number, the unknown amount to a division problem, what we're trying to figure out is the quotient, right? So we would take this quotient piece, click on it and drag it to that space right under the question mark. And we are going to go ahead and just write it in there for because we have to for this particular problem, okay? But that's kind of how the dragging feature would work on the fast math assessment. All right, part B says, 1,524 divided by 25 is, so now we're not labeling the pieces, we're actually trying to figure out what the quotient is. So let's do that. And you could have selected any strategy that you want to solve this problem. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the partial quotients method right here. So I've got my divisor and then my dividend here, okay. And I know that I could take I know that 25 times four is 100. So if I made it 25 times 40, that would be 1,000. I can subtract that and get 524. And if I did half of that, 20 of those, that would be 500, which would be 24 left over, okay? And 24 as a remainder is less than our divisor of 25. So that would be 60 when I add these two together, 40 plus 20 is 60 with a remainder of 24. Now my answer choices are in fraction form. So to write that, we would take our remainder and place it in the numerator and our denominator would be the divisor. So over here, we would select this one which drops the menu down 
and we would select this answer choice. And then when we do that, our answer should go right in here to show that we're filling in the blank for this editing task choice. Okay, so that is how you solve a problem like this. Make sure that you record your notes on your paper and then let's close out this video. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. Check out the links below or somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something in life, you have got to practice. You've got to put in the effort, the energy that it takes to get it done. And please know that I believe in you. I know that you can do this. I'll see you next time, world changers.